Want to try matchstick quilting but heard you need a walking foot? Yes, it's true. When machine quilting, you usually need this walking foot. But for this project, any foot will do. That's because you don't have to worry about the backing fabric when quilting. The back gets added after quilting through the top and batting. In this video, you'll get a few tips so you can start stitching. For best results, use a small project. Only quilt through the top and the batting. Using a contrasting thread will make your stitches stand out more than if you use a matching thread. Make sure to anchor your piece by stitching straight lines and seams. The more straight line guides, the more you'll stay in line. Tape can also be used as a guideline. Place one inch tape next to the seams and stitch. Reuse the tape across your piece. This way you won't have to draw any lines. Stitch one quarter inch over from the guides. Remember to turn your piece when you get to the bottom. You want to sew in opposite directions so the fabric doesn't bunch up. Here I am at the bottom of the stitch line. I turn the piece and start it stitching in the opposite direction. Fill in each section. Add tape on the edge as a guide and then stitch down the side. You can fill in this new section or continue making guidelines. I like to use leaders and followers for sewing off and on the piece. I also find it helpful to roll up my project and pin. This keeps it out of the way when stitching. When all the quarter inch lines have been sewn, I go back in and sew between those lines. The lines will end up being about an eighth of an inch apart. Lots of tight quilting can cause waves in your piece. Use blocking to get your project to lie flat. Soak your runner in water and then lay it over a towel on your ironing board or on the carpeted floor. Use pins to keep everything in place while drying. Hope you decide to try this project. You can download this free pattern at learnhowtoquilt.com under small projects. There you'll also find a free tutorial showing how to construct this runner. Thanks for visiting learnhowtoquilt.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos with your friends.